how long will the adoption reach out until you have mainstream adoption? Well, um, let's look at the previous revolutions in money. In the 16th century, there was this radical proposition to replace gold with gold certificates written on paper. And if you think people find Bitcoin weird, imagine the time when they told them, gold is no longer the money, bits of paper are. They're like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> so that idea was so radical, it took 400 years until it became broadly deployed in mainstream society. Right? Um, the next one in the 1950s was credit cards. Right? And so with credit cards, uh, people were now told the pieces of paper that have the government seal on them are now pieces of plastic that have a company number on them, and that's it. But don't worry, you'll get paid eventually. It took almost 50 years for that to become mainstream. You really started seeing it around the middle of the 1980s, and I remember as recently as the early 90s, in most places in Europe, you couldn't pay with a credit card anywhere. Right? I remember coming back from the United Kingdom as a student and visiting Greece, visiting Italy, visiting Spain with my brand new Visa debit card. And boy was that a disaster because I couldn't use it anywhere. So, 400 years for the first one, 50 years for the second one. I think we can do Bitcoin in less than 15, maybe 20. We're going to see broad adoption of a form of digital money that will be based on a shared open borderless cryptographic ledger whether it's called bitcoin or something else i don't know but it will be broadly based on those ideas we're in a race and the reason we're in a race is because governments around the world are trying to ban cash and take us into a different digital currency system a digital currency system with complete surveillance where the governments and the banks are completely in control where when you go to the wrong protest participate in the wrong political party they flip one bit in the database, and you no longer exist as a person. You are outside of the economic community. Bye-bye. Can't feed yourself. Good luck. Um, I don't want that future, so we'd better get our asses in gear and build some Bitcoin solutions faster. But 15 years, I think we can do it. The good news is we don't need to build out the infrastructure. The internet is already there. But that's a yes, okay, so to be really popular and to be successful in mainstream, it has to rise in value to match the capitalization of fiat. Th that's not a cause, that's an effect. It adopts, it gets adopted, it rises in value. It doesn't get adopted because it's risen in value, it rises in value because it is adopted. Um, yes, I, I do expect that the system of Bitcoin will be unbalanced. It has a, so the question was, do you think it's going to be unbalanced? Uh, Bitcoin has a not very particularly good Gini coefficient, um, and so what that means is that the uh, equality of ownership is quite diver is not as diverse as it should be or it could be. Um, I think that's primarily because of the way it it grew. Any solutions, you know. I'm not going to pass judgment because to me the idea here is that you have a system of wealth where people who took enormous risk on a completely untested technology because they saw the vision that this technology created will become rich, which is a far better basis than my grandfather killed a hell of a lot more people than your grandfather, which is the basis of wealth we have in our society today. That is the truth. Now, if uh, Bitcoin goes to zero, are you going to bail out the people who have a lot of Bitcoin? I didn't think so. So they still run the risk. All of us do, who are invested. Anybody who's invested in, in Bitcoin is running an enormous risk that they will lose their entire investment and whatever time we've invested into these technologies. Right? Could go away tomorrow. Right? That's part of the risk. No risk, no reward. And nobody's coming to bail out Bitcoin, right? So from that perspective, I think that's earned wealth. 
in a way that is much more true for many other aspects of society. Do I think it's the most equal system? No, but I don't think Bitcoin is going to be the only system we create. Bitcoin is a test bed. Yeah, sure, lots of people may become rich on Bitcoin, but there will be other cryptocurrencies, there will be other decentralized ledgers, and broad adoption doesn't mean just Bitcoin. It could be a completely different system that's built from scratch and much more equally distributed. In fact, if you think this is a big problem, start writing the blockchain that will be more equally distributed and bring it to the world. Bitcoin already gives you the recipe. I'll take uh